Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my preview of Liverpool vs Stoke City, this Saturday's Premier League game at Anfield. We're just a few days on from that magical night at Anfield, that 5-2 win over Roma in the first leg of the Champions League. But we do have domestic matters to take care of. Obviously with the draw last week at West Brom, this becomes a bit more important. Um, so we can't be taking our eye off the ball, we need to be picking up this win. Um, really important if we do get this win, then we're pretty much there. Uh, you know, we need one more point after that to, to seal fourth place or a top four finish. Um, before I start though, um, I just want to bring to your attention that a GoFundMe page has been set up for Sean Cox, the Liverpool fan who was um, attacked by, by us, you know, some Roma fans outside Anfield on, on Tuesday night. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's horrible. Um, I've you know, been thinking about it a lot. It's just a horrible horrible thing to, to see, um, you know, if you've seen the, some of the footage going around on social media of, of the stuff that was happening outside the ground, um, I, I didn't see any of it at the time, um, luckily avo avoided all that and uh, it's, it's really important, I mean, get, going to Rome on, on Wednesday it's so important that everyone's sensible, um, there's going to be a lot, a lot of Liverpool fans out there, you know, the allocation's 5,000 and, you know, it's not all Roma fans of course, we have to say that, but they don't like Liverpool out there, um, and yeah, I mean, we, 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 we've all seen what happened on, on Tuesday. Um, obviously, thoughts with Sean and his family, if, if you can just donate uh, to the GoFundMe page, um, which I'll link to in the description, um, to pay for costs for, for his family to be there with him and for any medical costs, um, all the details are on, on the page. But yeah, it's horrible. Wish him all the best. Um, I'm going to be in Rome next week, um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be... Um, sort of in any big groups, it's going to be very much stay stay out of the way. Um, don't do anything silly. Don't don't be out drinking in the afternoon. Just yeah, keep 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 a low guard. Get a cab to the ground. Get a cab back, and then be be sensible. There's no there's no time for for violence or anything. Um, yeah, it's it's been a wonderful season, and you know some great memories. You know this 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 European adventure has been unreal. Um, you know, we're all loving watching off a of one Jurgen Klopp and for, for a guy to go and get hit with a hammer outside the ground is just horrible. So, yeah, let's uh, let's wish him well and um, hope he recovers. But anyway, let's move on to Stoke. Um, it's Saturday 12.30, so we're the ones that are actually going to be setting the pace this week. Same as uh, last week at West Brom, um, where we did slip up and that, you know, that, that two-goal lead that diminished later on in that game could really prove costly. Um, we should still be fine, let's face it, the, the fixtures are quite kind to us. We do have Stoke and Brighton at home, um, and Chelsea have an extra fixture to play as well. So, uh, and they got an FA Cup final, you know, they're, 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 they've also got distractions. But we are in, a, in pole position, and you know, even, even to finish third as well. We've got to go to Stamford Bridge, obviously. Um, but yeah, Stoke and Brighton at home are two, two kind of fixtures, even with Stoke fighting for their lives. Um, and we know it's you know, we know we know they're going to be physical. We know they're probably going to stick Peter Crouch on us, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a pretty game. They're, they're not going to be coming out to play football, uh, as we like to, as we like teams to come and do against us. But yeah, I mean we we should have the quality to see to see them off, even with the injuries. I mean Oxley Chamberlain's injury comes at a terrible time. That leaves us with just with the three midfielders now, and that that, that midfield three is probably going to have to be our midfield three for the rest of the season, every single game, um, providing they stay fit. Um, you know, there's unfortunately no room for manoeuvre in terms of resting players this for this game uh, because there's just no one to fill in. There's no senior players to fill in. If if it wasn't for the fact that we actually need to win this game, we could chuck a youngster or two in. But we do have to do the business here, so therefore the midfield three has to be the midfield three. Um, and Sadio Mane uh, was in hospital on Wednesday evening. Uh, Lint out of there, didn't train today. I know Klopp's press conference is tomorrow, so we'll find out the severity of the injury. But you have to assume he's not going to be able to make Saturday. And fingers crossed he can make Wednesday. Um, and you know if he doesn't make Wednesday, then obviously fingers crossed that it's, it's a very minor thing that keeps him out for a week or two rather than a month or two. Um, so starting lineup for Stoke, I'm going to go for Loris Karras, of course. Now right back, you could rotate here. With, you know, Gomez back in training, um, Klein hopefully available as well. Um, it, I think you should maybe give Trent a rest here. Um, he's, he's a young player, um, and yeah, he's, he's he's got a big night ahead of him on Wednesday, the biggest night of his career. So I think Nathaniel Klein, get him some minutes, get him up to get him up to speed. Uh, 
the central defensive pairing, I mean, it wasn't. We just didn't look great at all defensively um, at at West Brom. Uh, Gomez obviously, you know, struggled. Moreno struggled on the left, um, and yeah, you know, Clavin played as well. So it's three three changes. I, I'd be keen to not make so many changes this time. It's touch and go whether you play Lovren or Clavin here. Van Dijk has to play as he did at West Brom. And I think we should stick with Lovren, and I think we should also stick with Robertson and left back, just to just to be sure. Um, there, there is a bit of a gap between this and Roma. There, there is it's Saturday to Wednesday, um, rather than Saturday to Tuesday. So that that is a bit of extra recovery time. So let's let's not change too much at the back, and let's just try and get this sealed. Uh, midfield three has to be Henderson, Van Alden, and Milner. I thought Van Alden was superb when he came on against Roma. Um, I thought because I thought Roma were the better team first twenty. Van Alden comes on and gets a foot on the ball, uh, controls that midfield. Um, and he's going to be really important for us for, between now and the end of the season. Front three, if Mane's injured, then, you know, obviously Danny Ings was the one that played uh, at West Brom. Solanke hasn't started for a while. Uh, which ones you go with? Maybe you go with Solanke here, you know. Uh, I didn't think Ings was brilliant at West Brom. I thought he was okay, he got his goal, but he didn't miss a chance or two as well. And didn't really get on the ball much. Maybe against maybe against Stoke Slanky, you know, the, the more he, he played against them uh, at the Britannia or the Bet365 Stadium. Um, maybe he's more suited to that kind of more physical game. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Solanke to play through the middle. Firmino on the left and Salah on the right. You have to play Mo Salah. We have to win this game. Um, it's not been a problem before to play him twice in a week or three times in eight days. So. Um, let's do that here as well. Um, leave a comment with your team. What you know, what you go for. Um, score prediction: I have to back us to win. We're unbeaten at Anfield this season um, in the in the uh, league anyway. I think we're going to be a comfortable three 0 winners. Um, Salah's going to score a couple as he always does, and why not get Big Dom Solanke as first Liverpool goal too? That's my prediction. Um, and here we go. It's uh, obviously we'll learn a lot more in the press conference tomorrow. Um, on another note in relation to Rome, we obviously are always thinking about Rome at the moment. Um, good, delighted to see that Liverpool are actually taking action and trying to um, look out for our safety out there. Um, they've raised their concerns, and yeah, and hopefully some solutions are put in place. And yeah, all, all, the, all the proper safety measures on it. I've, I've heard that Chelsea um, did a pretty good job of getting coaches together to get all their fans back into the city centre after their um, group game earlier this season. Um, but yeah, you obviously hear horror stories about about, uh, about Rome, so got to be careful, got to be sensible. Um, but yeah, for those that aren't going to any of these games, then let me know what your thoughts are on Stoke. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you're new, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, as Ben might say, on all of those platforms. Please do donate to the GoFundMe for Sean Cox, and I'll see you next time.